Hi, this is Dr. Wysong. In my Big Questions book, I discussed an archaeological find of a geared computer dating to 205 BC. The shoebox size device was uh, found in 1901 on a shipwreck in about 150 feet of water off the coast of a Greek island. It has the capacity to calculate the position of the sun, moon, planets, and other astronomical information when past or future dates are entered with a crank. Some 70 intermeshing gears of bronze have been found in the machine. Although my point in the book was to show the astonishing intelligence of people over 2,000 years ago, my point here is to simply bring your attention to the fact that gears mean intelligent design. Nobody would disagree that the Antikythera geared mechanism was caused by intelligence. Here are some stone tools found in Africa and dated to 2 million years. They are also deemed a sure sign of intelligence. Now then, far beyond the Greek machine and the African stones are these gears that are not in just a static machine. Amazingly, they move on their own and are wired to a neural circuit, muscles, brain, optics, and all the other paraphernalia found in living creatures. Billions of components, all interconnected and this was found in a machine that is millions of years old. That machine is known as an Isis. Here's what it looks like. Here's a video slowed way down of the machine in action. This tiny plant hopper insect machine, one tenth of an inch long, can bullet skyward faster than the eye can see and accelerate in two milliseconds to 400 Gs. That's more than 20 times what the human body can withstand without tearing apart. The gears are located in the hip of the Isis. In one three hundred thousandth of a second, they synchronize their legs for the jump. Unlike kangaroos and us, where our neural feedback loops permit coordination of the jump, the Isis jump occurs faster than the six milliseconds it takes for nerve transmission to and from the brain, thus the need to lock the legs so the insect does not spiral out of control. It's only in the young molts of the Isis machine that the hip gears are found. In the adult version, another design in its program takes over whereby the gears are gone and the legs lock together by friction as occurs in other jumping insects. Gears as we know them were not invented until the genius of the Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler in the 18th century. So there must have been intelligent genius that invented the Isis gears millions of years before. Look inside a tiny speck on one of the teeth on one of the Isis gears. This diagram represents a snapshot fraction of what goes on in that speck. Biochemical gears within and upon interlinked gear after gear. This biochemistry occurs on a continuous basis in an orderly way in every cell. Trillions of complex machine-like interactions at lightning speed every second. Keep in mind that life is not a chart like this with arrows. It's an unimaginably complex broiling blur of biochemical gears that remains only dimly understood. So the perfectly intermeshing Isis gears uh, visible microscopically are really just the tip of the iceberg. Every tooth on the gear contains millions of chemical components and has to be precisely matched with its partner gear. Further, the Isis machine contains millions of other anatomical, physiological, cytological, and biochemical coordinating parts that are just like gears in that they mesh together perfectly for the machine to function. But what's the so-called scientific explanation for the gears? This is the headline from an article about the find in Scientific American, quote, Working Gears Evolved in Plant Hopping Insect, end quote. Popular Mechanics states that the Isis, quote, evolved its acrobatic prowess because it needs to flee dangerous situation. There's been enormous evolutionary pressure to become faster and faster and jump further and further away, end quote. No detailed genetic or biochemical mechanisms and pathways for how the evolution over time could occur automatically. No fossils showing the development. No experiments. Not even an attempt at actual proof, just something like evolution did it because the Isis needed it. But if someone else says intelligence is responsible, even when intelligent design is clearly present, when gears are present, that's supposedly absurd. Clearly it's not. For those of you who are now thinking this has religious implications, notice that this conclusion is forced by evidence, experience, and logic. No man-made religion, doctrine, or scripture needed to be invoked. 
To learn more on this subject, refer to the Big Questions book I mentioned or subscribe to the free Thinking Matters newsletter found here. Thank you for listening.